Average shot time. 29. 16 seconds. The Lisowski. Thirty-five. Nicely done, and he's left a nice angle on the black. It's been unfortunate. He could have been on something easier than this red. It's going to be over the pocket if he misses it. He hasn't missed it, though. Good recovery. That red came very close to the middle. And again, he, he's a little unfortunate here to be That's hampered it. over the red. Has a long straight red to the bought corner, but it could have been so much easier. And it stayed out. Shafazowski, 48. It was a very good break to that point. That was a tough red. There was pressure on it, knowing again that he was missing. He was leaving O'Sullivan in. He was expected to get the red he was playing on. But as you say, it was tough. Well. It's going to be interesting how he tackles those two reds on the left side of the table. Nine. Twenty-five. Now, if he, if he can play for the red that's near that bot corner and leave the cue ball dead on the cushion, he might be able to bring the reds into play. Thirty-one. Thirty-four. Try and play the cannon to the red nearest the cushion. No. Thirty-five. He'll be disappointed with that. Had he caught it fully, would have been on one of the bolt colours with the red pre. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 42. But he's right back in the frame. Good safety shot. Didn't think twice about taking it on. He's just got to hope O'Sullivan can't knock the other red off the cushion. And it looks like he can from there. Got it going forwards. He's trying to get him behind the red. Lissowski's still got a life. Ronnie O'Sullivan, five. gets the chance at the red. Didn't put any side on the cue ball. Who's going to get a good pop on the red first? I'm surprised he didn't take that one on, but he's played a cracking shot. Well hit. 
Someone getting excited on table two. Well, it wasn't the come on from Ersenbacher, but a little clench of the fist because he's about to whitewash Michael White for his first ranking semi-final appearance. It's a very, very tough pot, and it's, it's absolutely straight, so difficult to get to a colour. So we know three of our quarter-finalists now. Aaron Wilson against Alex Ersenbacher. Sorry, semi-finalist. And what a pop that is from Ronnie O'Sullivan. One. Attempted to play the cannon to the yellow. Solomon, eight. Brilliant pop. Absolutely brilliant. Digging down into the cue ball to screw across for the green. Difficult to get to the brown though, could leave a double. Five. Ronnie O'Sullivan, five. Just short of pace for the snooker. And it's all important fourth frame before the interval. This is going to be close. And that's exactly what he played. Great save to shot. And to get it. Foul and this. Daniel wow. Sullivan, four. of Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ronnie O'Sullivan, five, and afraid. Lazowski started like a train with a clearance of 128, but Ronnie O'Sullivan has dominated since then, breaks of 64 and 125, and he's won that tactical four. Yes, and he knows he can't afford to leave McGill anything because he's going to go for it. Just proved that the last time round. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 22. Good safety. Play off the two reds and try and avoid the other reds. He went for the pot and he wasn't very far away from it. He's taking the game to O'Sullivan at the moment. I know he's behind in this frame, behind in the match. And we know that O'Sullivan is under pressure. the red much too thick and you can't what? see him missing and he's not used to that David he's not used to the game being taken to him eight nine
Yes, as if it wasn't hard enough, he's got to do a maths equation as well. He's having another little look at the scoreboard here, Anthony. Yeah, 27 points behind. 15. Well, if you take the brown, then switch to left-handed again. Yeah, it's uh, proving effective for him, just as it is, of course, for Ronnie O'Sullivan, the switch. Now, will he play a little cannon here to the red and pink? And he'll settle for that. Developing the red. 19 in front on the yellow. He could take one pink in that, in that case, rather than the black, and not need the brown. 37. So he's taking the blue. So he's, he can be 22 in front with 22 on here. He takes blacks with the two reds. Yeah, I think he may have miscounted there, you know, because he could have played for the pink. Like I say, you know, as you know, Joe, it's, the match situation is hard enough to cope with without having to try and work all that out as well. Absolutely. I mean, the excitement, you know, is here in the box as well, and it, it was difficult for me to be working it out. And I'm, to, I'm up here. 50. Needs the rest. Right in the middle. Thank you. So now he needs 50. the brown by playing for the blue, and he's the wrong side of the blue slightly. The green is in a good spot, though, to be able to get the brown off the cushion. Needs to leave himself a half ball shot on the green. Nothing for being straight here. 58. And that looks OK. All on the shot, then. Deep breaths. Nicely played. 61. And the way is potting. Fancying for this. Anthony McGill is really showing us what he's made of here. But he's missed the brown. Has he? Oh. He's missed the brown. After all that hard work, he got it out. Off the cushion. And O'Sullivan sprints to the table, needing the four colours. What a moment this is. Incredible. So left handed. Oh, that only just dropped. Four. But he's finished perfect on the blue. Oh, he did all that work to get down to the brown. He got the brown out. <coughs> Nine. What a let off, and he knows it. He'll be kicking himself. Sullivan ran to the table, seeing him miss. 15. And now he needs the black to land a real blow here. What drama and what a steal in the end for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Anthony McGill was throwing everything at him, just needed the brown to level the match. Mr. Brown, O'Sullivan has cleared. Well, what about that? And he found the path through the reds. That could be a frame winner. It what? deserves to be. What a fantastic red.
now. Four. He's in with a good chance. Well, that's one thing you can't do. Karen and what Wilson. a good kiss Four. that was. He was plumb on the red now by the pink. Good pot. And didn't play it with safety in mind. And handed O'Sullivan the initiative. Eight. You don't always get what you deserve. But uh, as I said, when Wilson was at the table, this isn't straightforward by any means. Fifty. have come too far for the black. Don't move the marker. Another very good pot, that. Twenty-two. So he's got the choice whether to go into them or play for that loose one. And try and open them up from that red. Has he been fortunate? 29. You can nudge those two reds closest together into play. He's going to need them at some stage and stay on the black. Where's the cue ball? 36. He's okay, but he's not ideally on the colour. One good pot here. 29. Well, he's got some bottle this man. Again, that was missable. Not quite hard enough to get back to the Reds. May have to go in and out of Bork. 20 the lead. Still 51 on the table. 49. Uh, what a great way to get on the Red. 48. It's red in the colour. Believe that. 54. Yeah, he's handed the frame to Karen Wilson. I think he just tried to make what? sure of it. Still a bit to do, though, isn't there, for Wilson? The blue's tied up. Yeah, that's his only hope, I think. But didn't want to be that far away from it. That's not a good shot from Karen. Eight. So tough, this red. And it's going to be over the pocket if he misses it. He hasn't missed it, though. Nice. Excellent pot. But hasn't got the angle on the black to get to the yellow. Just a little bit of an angle. And played that one well. Still thinking about that red. Little shake of the head from O'Sullivan. And that came 18. close to missing too. Well, not ideal on the green. Got to try and leave an angle on the brown. To bring blue into play. And that's just 21. about right. Yeah. 
needs to slow down. Oh, he's pushed it too far. So Sullivan will be coming back to the table. This is the red that Ronnie missed. And he wanted to really hit the table there, but held himself back. Wilson, Good safety 25. to finish with. It'll be a frustrating one for whoever loses it. They've both had chances. Clever shot from O'Sullivan. Full ball kiss to get the cue ball back to safety. Doesn't want to look. Great pot. And you could Fine. say a little unfortunate with that angle. Very difficult to get to the black from where he is. Another great pop. Oh, that's unfortunate. Five, Karen Wilson. That's so unfortunate. He just didn't get enough side on the cue ball. Well, the cue ball didn't get close enough. Well, it did get close enough to the middle, so it was the side. Played the cue ball to the cushion just in case he missed it. Another great pot, but tried to swing the cue ball into the black and just Six. missed it. He's knocked some long balls in this week, hasn't he, Wilson? But he needs something special again here. Well, does he go for the pot now, Philip? And the safety, the double. What is it? It's the cut. Oh, would you believe it? Stayed on the lip. I thought it was in. So did Ronnie O'Sullivan. Aaron Wilson unlucky to go in off in potting the pink. And that will be a big relief to the five times world champion. And that is the art of break building. However, 14. he over stunned that one. He's furious that he didn't go past the reds. For him, it was a fairly basic shot. Just to run, stun run through, miss the three reds. To the point where he couldn't even take that shot on. That's a mistake and quite a bad one. Sullivan, 14. Well, that's gone wrong. That's a really poor shot. Both players tonight played. Well, they couldn't have finished any worse, that cue ball. Oh, that's a great shot. That's a fine piece of cueing. Big shot coming up here, though, to continue. Caught the knuckle of the pocket. Still on the red, though, to the left corner. He's certainly striking the ball with a lot no. of authority, isn't he? He's making his intent clear this evening. Well, put it this Tom way, he potted ah. more difficult long pots than that one tonight. Oddly enough, I kind of hit the wrong side of it, actually. Anywhere near the pot. It's 
So these guys are not machines as we're seeing here because it was machine-like towards the end of the session, but a few hours off and players have come back and it's not quite the same level of performance. Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. Foul, a miss. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. Should be going back, I should think. Although, Ronnie might look at the long straight red. He's very attacking, very ambitious. He's almost paying a compliment to Kyron if he plays it by thinking, well, I know that you'll get this snooker escape right sooner rather than later. Yes, and he felt that that was within his capabilities. So, eventually a good decision. First question, will the red pot, is there enough of it sticking out next to the green? He seems to think there is. And that was the other problem. He, I think he tried to shift that red into open no. play. Karen sat with the rest in his corner. You know, the old adage in the snooker, I've never stand with the rest in your hand, they used to say. I quite know what it meant, but... Uh, <laughs> 14. And well, he's sitting 15. down anyway, isn't he? Not standing. So, anyway, this is the shot. I know that he's flicked the green a little awkwardly, but could play to move the red here. It's done round. Oh, he's played it with the check side. It's the most delightful shot you could ever wish to see. Magnificent. Well, it's like he had sat nav on the cue ball here. The judgment, the pace, everything. Yes, he played it with right hand check side. Honestly, what a shot. It's nearly so good. The red almost went in the middle bag. 21. It's not a question of getting on the green this time around. He will need in the brown to leave Cohen needing a snooker. Touch of right hand side on this. 25. It's very good. It doesn't want to be too straight. Oh, what a shot. What a shot this is. This clearance has been just irresistible. It's not a big break, but it's just the way he's taken them. The shot on the last red and that shot on the green. Right. Any snooker player, 32. to whatever level watching, could only admire those shots. So a frame that could have gone either way. Chances on both sides. In the end, O'Sullivan has produced a little bit of magic to win it. 43. And if Karen Wilson's got any chance of winning this tournament, he's got to now win the next couple of frames. As O'Sullivan, he's five clear now. He's won the last four frames of the final, and he only needs two more, and he'll be the winner. Ronnie O'Sullivan leads Karen Wilson in Barnsley, 7-2.